Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. It is Taj, aka Mataj Massage, and this is Mataj Midas Living. As it is now going to be a transition into a, a new month, we're not quite there yet. So this reading is going to be for the month of May, even though I'm recording it a week before. But I feel like now's the time for me to record to pick up on those energies coming up I'm feeling energized I'm feeling I don't think powerful is the word I just feel I feel balanced and grounded and I feel like now is the perfect time for me to do this reading I've literally just come back from a long walk went for a long walk for a bit then I sat in the park for about an hour or so um, grounding myself, just taking in some nature, listening to some righteous music, listening to some praise and worship music. So I'm feeling like now is the perfect time for me to do a reading. I feel like I am more spiritually in tune now that I've done those activities. But before we get into that, if we vibe, join the tribe and make sure you like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're reminded of when I upload new videos. I'm feeling good about this reading. I don't know what's going to come up in the cards. Like I literally have no idea. I've not even got my cards out ready or anything. I'm just going to go for it. I feel like I've not even really looked at my cards properly i've not done a card reading in what feels like a the longest time i've even just realized i've left one which i need to pick up now thankfully it's not too far away this one doesn't fit in my box so yeah as i was saying i feel like i've not really looked at my cards as such i feel like i've been having a little battle Mm, I wouldn't even say it was it hasn't really been a battle it's been more of a maybe a slight crisis of faith but not a crisis of faith more just in regards to me doing these card readings because there's a lot of misinformation out there um like a lot of people attribute tarot reading to witchcraft and things of the devil and all of that stuff and I just want to set the record straight I only believe in the almighty father that is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. That's the God I believe in. I have no issues with other people's beliefs or anything like that. But I feel like there's been a lot of misinformation out there in regards to tarot. Yes, they can be used for negative things and for things that are anti-god so with all that can oh a little bit of beeping outside so with all that confusion going on i was like but well, god you you literally led me to tarot i don't pray to anyone else i only pray to you obviously the, like the holy trinity and i was like but why would you lead me to tarot if it's not a good thing like in regards to how i'm using tarot so i prayed on it for a while sat with it, meditated on it, and Father led me to these amazing, amazing righteous women that believe in God, our Father in heaven, and they do tarot regions as well, and I literally random, well, I know it wasn't random, I know it was God who led me to them, but let's just say for argument's sake, I randomly came across their stuff and it just clarified all these things that i'd asked god about and i was like oh, there's my answer so it's okay for me to do tarot because i'm channeling information from god not um spirit or anything like that like whenever i'm doing that even when i'm talking about angels and ancestors and all of that stuff i'm referring to like my actual ancestors who believed in god in regards to like the Israelites and all of that stuff. That's a whole another video that I could talk on things that I've discovered about myself and where I sit in that. So I'm not gonna get into that too much. But basically, tarot is a part of what I should be doing. It is a part of my calling and I can only thank our father for that. So it's gonna be the same cards that I always use. 
and the aim is to pull one card from each deck obviously if god's got other answers in mind for the collective then he will reveal those yes this reading is for the energies of may 2021 but if you do come across this video in another timeline and you do believe in god in that higher power then i feel and i believe that he has led you to this video for a specific reading as the information is timeless. If it's information that you need to see in that moment and God leads you to this video, then this video is for you. So I will be using the Angel or oh, Crystal Angels Oracle deck. I'll be using the Modern Witch Tarot deck. I will be using my, let's get them out of the box my divine timing cards and the secret language of light cards setup is going to be the same as all the other readings i've done thus far i will say some prayers beforehand to get the guidance that we need and then the rest is pretty much up to God and then I will read from the guidebooks provided with the cards or the ones that have guidebooks and I will also channel whatever needs basically whatever comes from the heart the soul whatever you want to call it whatever's channeled down to me then I will pass on that information as well so let's get into it what do my collective my soul family need to know for the month of May or for whatever timeline they find this in. So thank you, Father, for providing me with the gifts to be able to channel information for you and to relay that to my collective. I just want to get some information for them on the energy, on anything that they need to know in the upcoming month of May. What information needs to be revealed oh okay that card just jumped out so we're gonna go with that one if we need any clarifiers as we are oops any clarifiers as we are going through this then i will be guided to draw more cards if not it will be whatever the cards say okay now we're gonna go with this deck okay thank you father again can we please have some guidance for the month ahead in regards to the energies that are coming up what do my collective and soul family need to know for the month of may okay that's the one coming out let's go for it then now i'm going to go for these cards thank you father for these tools to be able to interpret any information that you need to provide for my collective and my soul family what do we need to know for the month ahead of May? Thank you, Father. Okay, so one card dropped all the way onto the floor and turned around. I feel like that's the card I need to go with. So we're going to go with that. Nothing happens by chance when it comes to this. This is meditation as well. But I'll go into that a little bit more. Okay, then let's go with the last deck of cards. Thank you, Father, for providing me with these tools to be able to interpret and receive messages from you to be able to relate to my collective. What do we need to know from this deck relating to the month of May? What kind of energy are we reading what kind of information and guidance do the collective and soul family need from you thank you father let's see what's going to come out he's thinking he's thinking he's still thinking what's going to come out what's going to come out oh okay that one has just turned around so we're going to go with that one thank you Right, let's do the first card then. So the first card is from the Angel Crystal Angel Oracle deck and we have got Calcite. It says, busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during the 
this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. I can't lie, this one felt kind of personal to me <laughs> because literally on the 1st of May is when I, I guess, officially start running my business full time in clinic. But let's see what the book says as well. And then anything else that is channeled through, I will let you guys know. Okay, so it says, let me hold the card up as well so you can see it again. Can you see that? Yeah. So it says, this card comes to you because you are juggling multiple responsibilities and you may feel stressed about your schedule. There's also a possibility that your health has been strained because you are doing everything yourself without help. You may even feel that other people are taking advantage of your kind generosity. You are being guided to take charge of your schedule. What can you release in order to give yourself more breathing room? Remember to pray for strength in setting boundaries and to say no to inappropriate requests for your time. If you tend to people please and feel obligated to say yes to others. This card can also be an indication of drama addiction. When there's a pattern of stressing yourself needlessly, signs of this include feeling a rush of adrenaline or a sense of self-importance in response to your hectic schedule, boasting about how busy you are or affirming a sense of victimhood and powerlessness over your schedule. In addition, this card is a sign of busy times ahead. In these cases, it's best to plan your health strategy for dealing with multiple responsibilities while being responsible to yourself. One thing that kind of popped up as I was reading that is in regards to everything that is going on in the world right now, particularly the UK, I'm going to focus on the UK because that's where I am. So we've just been let out, so to speak, but there's still this, there's still a lot of confusion with a lot of people. There are various views on what's going on. And um, those who know me know my personal views in regards to what's going on. And the pubs and stuff have just opened. And we all know something like the pub isn't good for your health. Yes, socially, it's amazing. And there's no judgment on people in regards to that. But I feel like with the change in weather and those kind of things, a lot of people, because we've been so, well, not me, but the people that have followed it, every rule down to a T, have been locked up, cooped up in their houses and they just want to blow off some steam and there's nothing wrong with that. But be mindful of your health. Like, don't just rush in, drink yourself senseless just because you can now. Like, take time, do things that are good for your mental health as well. So don't just busy yourself with nights out do take time for self-care focus on your mental health focus on your physical health and those kind of things and if you're in a position where you're back to work and you're super busy try and find time to step away from that because rest is just as important as working and that's what's being channeled in regards to that all right let's go for the next card Ooh, the justice card. All right. So things seem to be coming into balance. Let's have a look and see what it says in the actual book. And then, oh, channel the, the rest, I guess. All right. So this is the justice card. The choices we make shape who we are. I was literally just talking about the choices you make in regards to like being busy etc anyways let me continue justice contemplative in her bright red robe like coat holds high the sword of choice she does not treat her task lightly and the balance scales indicate that she is weighing all the options before her justice seeks to uncover deep understanding of moral and ethical truths and once she's found the right path, she's ready to take action and use that sword. You have to take responsibility for every choice you make. If you drift through life without examining your choices and what they say about you and your values, you'll never be truly self-aware. 
and you may find yourself treating others with dishonesty and unfairness. There may be a difficult issue that you need to examine or a social responsibility you've been neglecting. It's time to stand up. It's time to do the right thing. Before I even go into this one, as soon as I started reading that in regards to reflecting on choices you're making and certain scenarios that may be in your life. So for me, what I'm getting from this card is that I'm not sure, I don't know who specifically this message is for, but what I'm getting is, is you're in a situation where you're kind of at a crossroads and both options do look good, but in different ways. But one is more material, that's what's coming through, and the other is more, I guess, spiritually based. Both are good, but you have to weigh up your options on what you have to do. And then it also immediately made me think of this. So you have to meditate on that decision that you are going to be making to work out what is going to be the right option for you. Because a lot of people can tend to go to just go to where the money is. I honestly don't know who this message is for, whoever needs this message. And if this does relate to you, please, please, please comment below because I don't know where this is coming from this is just coming through right now and I feel like what else is coming through don't just go for the easy option because the easy option doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the best option for you whether that is the way of money or whether that is the way of spirituality don't take the easy option you have to go with the option that takes you out of your comfort zone. So for example, this is what's coming through now. So before I said one side is like money and the other side is spirituality. So with the money one, what I'm now getting, and again, I don't know who this message is for. It doesn't feel like it's for me. I feel like it's for maybe a small group of people, this particular message here. The side of money could be something like a job that you're already in. The money is great like the job's not that bad but it's not fulfilling your soul and on the other side the spiritual path is something is a higher calling where you can be in your purpose but it may not immediately lead you to money but eventually it will because you are in your soul's purpose that's the message that's coming through I'm actually kind of getting butterflies in my stomach that's really weird that's never happened before during a reading but I feel like you have to meditate on it so pray meditate go within take some time out to just reflect on the information weigh out all your options pray on all your options to find what the answer is that you need and now i'm going to look at the meaning of this but i feel like it's related to that especially this whole busy times ahead and now i've just got that message about the being at a crossroads and choosing the correct path and praying on that information. And then obviously this card came out for meditation. So I've already said my interpretation of that. So I'm gonna give you the meaning in the book as well. So it says, love and master your emotions. It says, it is time to begin or resume a meditation practice. Gently reflect on how far you have come. Emotional mastery means choosing to be in charge of your life by adjusting your emotions, ideas and intellect to something that feels easier and softer. This discipline will liberate you by opening a door into the tranquility and wisdom of your soul's love. I've not even finished reading it. I'm getting so excited. I literally said about coming into your soul's purpose and this is what's come up. The way God works is just... It always has me smiling, sorry. Let me continue. You can't go beyond limitations while you are still focused on them. Meditate by focusing on something that brings you joy, such as having a massage, playing with your pets, spending time with your children or creating art. There is no right or wrong way to meditate. There's also no wrong or right way to pray either. I just wanted to say that. It is just a gentle shift in your attention away from the physical world and into a world of infinite possibilities. 
Meditation is a way of resetting your energy that brings you into a neutral place from where you can move forward. Your life experiences have led you here. Allow them to be the catalyst that creates joy and freedom. And again, for me, it's this point here, the justice. So you've come to that crossroads and it's like, where do I go next? And that's why you have to pray on it. The last card I'm going to look at now is the Divine Timing card. What does it say? Okay. So it says, New Year, wipe the slate clean, 1st of January. I know we're in May, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's talking about January. Plus, the real New Year is actually in springtime anyway. So we're technically in New Year energy now because obviously that's when animals come out of hibernation it's when the plants and flowers start like budding again well here in the uk anyways there's more rebirth in this time of year so this is what it says and again you've probably been busy in your life making all these decisions or being so busy that you haven't had time to reflect on anything. Now it's taken to you this point where you're like, okay, something's got to change. Do I go and stick with this side or go towards this decision of the money or comfort zone kind of thing? Or do I go on this new path where there's infinite possibilities, but it's going into the unknown, so I'm scared. So at this point now I need to prey on it. I need to get answers from within, from God, from our higher power for guidance because it's too noisy outside. And whatever the decision is, that's going to be giving you that new year energy to wipe the slate clean, to start again, to ask for forgiveness and ask for guidance into this new path in life. I feel really excited about this reading. I was like, what's going to happen? If anything comes to pass, or if you feel like this really, really resonates with you, particularly the message in regards to the justice card, what I was getting was that wasn't a general message. That was for somebody specific. I don't know who that will be, but if it's you, please let me know. I would love to know how the month of May plays out for you and if you see these things in your life whether it be a new job etc because I feel excited for you so that was the reading for the month of May I hope it resonates with you I feel very excited that's like literally the feeling I'm getting and I don't even feel like it's my excitement I'm excited for this person for the part where I went into more depth, whoever that message was for, I feel really excited for them. And whoever that is, please reach out to me. But I hope you found this reading useful. I hope it's given you the right guidance that you came to receive. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share my content, please. Don't, fo don't forget. <laughs> Get your words out. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video. I love yous.